starting out, um, you know, to uh, enter his course with praise, enter his yeah. gates with thanksgiving. So we're going to start praising with a uh, song forever. Thanks to the Lord, a God and King. It's an original song, and I wrote it about 2008 or so. It was actually I wrote it on piano, and I hadn't really played it acoustically all by itself, unplugged, so to speak. So it's kind of a, a nice exercise to, you know, to get 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 off the piano and just start playing the guitar and singing it. So it's kind of a fun one, and it's, you know, it's uh, really about uh, the idea of, you know, the truth. You should know the truth. The truth shall make you free. And it's also about walking with the Lord as well. So it's, you know, and of course it's uh, praising God, which is the, the reason we're here. <laughs> Amen. One concert at a time, buddy. <laughs> All right. Sacrifice the sin in us. 
blood for us. We wish our redeem your truth and grace to liberate. You set the captives free. Question: Do you do you, um have you used that song to lead worship in a like a live gathering of people? Not yet, actually. I haven't, I haven't you know I haven't done much. I mean, the originals and live worship is mostly copies. I could picture a room full of people jumping, clapping, dancing, and praising God to that song. Hallelujah! Yes, sir. <laughs> full circle. <laughs> Well, because, you know, the Bible says you do not um, take your light and hide it under a bushel, but you put it on a hilltop so people can see it and rejoice and glorify their Father in heaven. So that's, God gives you this music not to hide it or even to sing it just on Red's Room, but to get people, I mean, in live gatherings too, to to worship God and to celebrate, man. Let your light shine. Yes. Amen. sir. I love that scripture. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. (laughs) Right on. I love that one too. Amen. Got another uh, original called Worthy. And once again, this is another one from the, the Solid Rock years. Well, it's now a Jesus church, but it was originally founded as Solid Rock. And uh, one of the pastors there, John Mark Coomer, really encouraged me with the song. And uh, I wrote, wrote it uh, and sent him a copy of it, you know, sent him, sent him a link to the music. And, and he said he loved it and really uh, he was uh, very positive about it. And so uh, it's, it's kind of nice because it, it's nice to have made the cut and just to uh, not let things like that just... Uh, kind of like die on the vine so to speak so encouraging each other it's really great to build each other up you know iron sharpens iron was one of the sayings so i really appreciate when uh, when people lift each other up and kind of help each other you know and, and encourage each other too it's amazing sure. how it really it, it really and I could see the, the good things i could see that you have the gift of um, encouragement power encouragement upon your life brother Oh, big, good job, man. Thank you. You did a great job. I just want to let you know that, Brad. I, Thank I you so love much. When, you, when you're hosting, it's great. It's fantastic. Thank I love you, working with you. And praising God with you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Where? 
Amen. Well, I got a question for you. Is yes. that a song that you've played with a band before? No, actually, I have not. This is okay. That, that needs to have a drummer. It. That needs to have a bass player. That needs to have a, a person doing kind of a Beach Boys kind of organ on it. I could boom, 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 boom. I mean, get the whole band going, brother. That's a rocking song, brother. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I got a recording with you know with the bass, drums, and guitar, lead guitar, and everything like that. But it's just it's. Yeah, I, I actually wrote it on okay. the, that one. I wrote it on the guitar, so it's more. Now, guitar. where can we find that recording? Actually, if you go to gross.org, it has links to my different sites. Uh, gross.org. How did you gross. get that name? That's amazing. Oh, okay. I've had it since '96. <laughs> I wonder why. Wow. Way back for, when. Oh yeah, I was millennium. For like thousands for it. Wow. But I just I've put so much time. You know, there's a uh, you know CDs that have it on and stuff like that. So I just couldn't give it up. I mean, plus email wow. and stuff like that. If I ever make it up to Oregon, I'll, I would love to jump on keys or yeah, bass or whatever buddy. you need. <laughs> Welcome, buddy. Welcome. Come on up. Anytime, man. Cool. Go come, come visit the, uh, the, music, the music hall basement or, yeah. or whatever that's you got going on, attic. <laughs> right on, on the second floor. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Love to have you, man. What else do you have for us tonight, man? So, more praise. Awesome is the Lord Most High. Great are you, God. Trust you when you come. 
to die.